Now, the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Isonwulu, has urged the private sector and well-meaning Nigerians to join hands with government to tackle the challenges of hunger through interventions. The governor made this call during the official flag off of distribution of 80,000 bags of 10 kilograms of rice by the Aliko Dangote National Food Intervention Program to vulnerable citizens in Lagos. Plus, the Venice correspondent Love Igugu Oyedoku covered the event and now reports. It takes the official flag off of distribution of rice by the Aliko Dangote National Food Intervention Program this time in Lagos State. The distribution, which will cost a total of 15 billion naira, started with Kano on Saturday. Aliko Dangote was present at the ceremony accompanied by Femi Otedola, Chairman, Gerego Power Station. Speaking at the ceremony, Chairman of Aliko Dangote Foundation, Aliko Dangote, who doubles as a group president of Dangote Industries Limited, said the gesture was necessitated by the prevailing high cost of food in the country. Over the past 30 years, the Dangote uh, Foundation has always strived to provide support and assistance during the holy month of Ramadan to those that need it the most. This, of course, is one of the tenets of our faith, which emphasizes charity and encourages responsibility for the community. And as you know, this is not only Ramadan, it also coincides with uh, you know, uh, 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 Lent. Governor Babajide Sohulu thanked Dangote for his humanity to the plight of Lagosians in the face of current economic hardship. The governor called on private sectors to emulate Dangote in partnering with the government to alleviate hardship of the people. The gesture to the donation of 80,000 bags of 10 kilograms rice, which is being flagged off today, it demonstrates what the foundation stands for and what the, the president of Aliko Dangote Foundation truly stands for, which is to show you know, that they have the human kindness. They have a sense of empathy, they show humanity in all its, its facets, and so it, trans, it translates, you know, to their direct interventions, and it goes beyond the legitimate pursuit of only profit or accumulation of wealth. Also, the message is being passed on this occasion is for others, you know, of similar minds to rise up, to join and to be able to stand counted. Speaking with State House correspondents on the sideline of the event, the daughter of Aliko Dangote, Amina Dangote, disclosed that the intervention would be delivered to the 774 local government areas and LCDAs across the country. We've been doing this for a while, just that we haven't been uh, publicizing because our chairman believes whatever he does is between him and God. He wasn't uh, publicized. But this time around, we decided to publicize it so that we can also encourage and inspire others to be able to do what we're doing or even do more. Because it's not just uh, a one eye thing. This is something that is required for uh, everybody to put hands together to ease uh, the condition that we all find ourselves in. The reason why he made this big pledge is because he was moved to see the things that a foundation could do to change the lives of people. How do we educate more people? How do we train more people? How do we get more opportunities for more people? So this feeding is just one of the things that we do. It's just one piece of what we do. Earlier in her welcome address, Lagos State Commissioner for Agriculture, Abisola Olusonya, thanked Aliko Dangote for the gesture noting that the donation couldn't have come at a better time than now. Love Oyedoku, Plus TV News.